off to Vivek it is then. Luckily, the way to Vivek is, uh, what is possible with a Silk Strider. And thanks to Auto Run, I am able to have a sip of tea, a sip of Earl Grey, while um, my character walks forward. So I only need my right hand with the mouse in order to control it. I'm actually going on about my business. No, about my tea, actually. Because if you don't have anything to drink right now, please fetch something. And if you do, please take a sip. Remember, stay hydrated, folks. There we go, down the stairs. And now we can get over the bridge to the Silt Strider and take the Silt Strider to Vivek. Or we should be able to take a boat from the foreign quarter to the temple. Lots of eerie sounds left and right. I really haven't checked if I have the headset on the right direction or if left and right is now swapped for me. I will see during the stream if the sounds come from the wrong side, but it does sound like the Sweet Strider is on the right side. Let's see. Travel. Back. Why walk when you can run? Yep, it is on the right side, and it is, of course, raining again. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to move away because it sounds like you caught a cold. Uh, not a wonder in this friggin' rain. Ooh, a thunderstorm even. Uh, I hate the rain. It gets the fur all wet, and then it's wet and sticky and droopy and... Ugh. I much prefer the, um, the small rain chamber um, that you can step into where the rain is warm and you have its soapy, foamy stuff to rub yourself with. Here is our boat. Let's travel to... No, we can't travel everywhere. So let's travel to the Talvani district because um, the Talvani are of course our turn. Let's see if we can travel on and take a boat. Where do we want to go? Which is southmost. We want to go to the temple, which is here. So we could go to St. Delon or St. Holmes. Even the arena would be closer. Yeah, the front of the arena. Uh, by the way, arena, what can you tell me about the arena, sir? The arena compound lies between the Redoran compound on the west and the Telvani compound on the east. Okay, I've already been there, so I know where it is. The arena is the site of public entertainments and combat sports. The comfortable domed arena has seating for hundreds of spectators. Beneath the arena are dressing and storage rooms for entertainers and training rooms and animal pens for combat competitors. We've seen all that. Uh, ah, there we go, temple. I'm going to sprinkle in some lore questions here and there. So we get to know a little bit about this. So for example, um, can I ask for the simple? No, but can you tell me about the Ministry of Truth? The Ministry of Truth is a celestial body suspended by Vivek's mighty power over the great temple, the High Fane, Vivek City. Oh, so it's this floating moon thing. Um, can you tell me something about this Valanda Omani fellow? Oh, Kanzler Rolanda Omani lives outside Vivek on Elmas Island. Take the bridge to the mainland from Tavani compound, then turn south and cross the bridge to Elmas Island. The path from the south end of the bridge leads right to Omani Manor. Manor, I guess. Um, yeah, if I remember correctly, that was one of the... Wasn't that one of the Polalu people? If I'm not mistaken, I'm so bad at remembering things and I played just a few days ago. But what about the High Fane? The High Fane is the largest, largest tribunal temple on Barnfell. Archcanon Sarioni presides over the temple, along with a large staff of priests, healers, and monks. Pilgrims travel from all over Morrowind to view the High Fane and the Ministry of Truth, and to offer prayer and thanks before the Palace of Vivek. Oh, you mean that great building at the end? I've been there. Yes, 
Palace of Vivek is the abode of the mortal form of the god hero Lord Vivek, the warrior poet of the three deities who comprise Am Sivi, the divine patrons of the tribunal temple. Only the most devout are admitted to the presence of Lord Vivek, and only at his initiation. Beneath the Palace of Vivek is the Puzzle Canal, a place of worship and testing for questing heroes hoping to receive Vivek's favor. Many choice treasures are guarded by Daedric servants in the Puzzle Canal's dark passages. Ooh, and there we did the Pilgrimage of the Second Graces. I'm didn't? waiting. I'm already done as talking to you. So I wonder, what are you waiting for? Another passenger, I guess. So let's see. We want to check that this is the Hall of Justice. Uh, at least some warm ship of the fur. I learned that, that from the Dogos. Um, okay. What words do you have for me, citizen? So here, this is the Justice Offices. So I'm I'm headed to the office of the watch. Maybe this is this wealth beyond measure, Outlander. Uh, sir, I did hear something about the um about killed um killed guards, but it doesn't seem like he can tell me something about this. Um, can you tell me something more about this Ministry of Truth, the thing that's floating in the sky? Well, the Ministry of Truth was allowed out to provide a prison and re-education center operated by the Temple Ordinators for the correction of heretics. Ah, so this is where they send the, the, uh, those people thinking that they are Lord Nerevar. Um, I actually told, uh, convinced someone um, that he is not, to be honest. Okay, so uh, this is not the office that I was looking for, I guess. These are all named people. Um, well, what can you tell me about the latest rumors? What could kill two ordinators before they draw their weapons, slit their throats? Okay, so this is something... I think we read this already. Did we die? And I forget to because it says journal has been updated. What do you know about this Hall of Justice? The Hall of Justice houses the four orders of the Temple Ordinators. The Order of the Watch, the Order of War, the Order of Doctrine and Ordination, and the Order of Inquisition. I'm pretty sure that we have been told to go to the um, office of the watch because of that. Let's see. At the Hall of Justice, okay. And we are currently in the Justice offices. So this should be where we are supposed to be, I guess. Outlander, what do you want? Oh, ma'am, I've been told of something that has happened, but um, well, it seems that they don't know anything about that. Mm, but can you at least tell me something about the Hall of Wisdom? The Hall of Wisdom and Hall of Justice contain the executive, administrative, judica judicial, and martial operations of the Tribunal Temple. They're in the Temple Canton of Vivek. And the latest rumors. The blight storms have been really bad this year. My friend who makes the Margan pilgrimage every year got caught in a real doozy. He was in pretty bad way until he got it, we got him back to the temple. Well, it doesn't look like they actually know something about that. Let's see, there's one more person. And I can only ask him, them about Ghost Ghostgate. Let's get back to the Hall of Justice then. Uh, and check the map. Huh. Go on about your business. This is, uh, I guess this is the other end of the hall. No, ah, there is the Office of the Watch. Right on the map. So it's supposed to be here, so I guess we need to get upstairs. So, okay. The 
Ordinator Barracks and the Office of the Watcher. This Wealth is where we were supposed to be. This is such a nice looking book. Elam Anders. I am Elam Anders, Chief of Vevex Order of the Watch. Do you have questions about my trade or are you looking for work? What is the Order of the Watch? The Order of the Watch provides guards for temples and shrines. Here in Vivek, which is a temple city, we have the guards who enforce the law and preserve order. So, how about your trade then? I am what the temple calls Crusader. Crusaders are warriors who serve the tribunal, but now any heavily armored warrior with a safe proclaimed cause calls himself a Crusader. My personal cause is hunting down necromancers and witches, thieves, murderers, bandits, heretics, and other evildoers. I am the commander and uh, of the Ordinator Order of the Watch here in Vivek. So you were talking about some work. We've had seven killings in Vivek recently. All the victims had their throats slit. Most did not appear to have struggled. Five victims were outlanders, two were Ordinators. The two Ordinators were armed and on duty. Their weapons were still in their belts. Nothing was removed from the victims' bodies. To continue. I cannot hire you. Only ordinators may serve the watch, but if you can find this killer and execute him, I personally promise you a very handsome reward. I require no commitment from you. Indeed, I cannot officially accept one. But if you're interested, I can tell you what we know about the seven victims and the reports of witnesses. It seems like we're going to do to go on detective duty now. Well, so tell me about the seven victims, but first let me have a sip of tea. Quality Earl Grey with real bergamot oil. I love it. None of the five Outlander victims had been on Vardenfell longer than a week. Two were found in the Foreign Quarters corridors, one on the Foreign Quarters canal side, and one in, a halal in the Halalu compound corridor, and one in the water near the arena. All were armed. Only one, a mage, appears to have put up a fight. All had their throats slit with a dagger. Until the two Ordinators were killed, we thought it might be an anti-Imperial fanatic, and it still might be. Okay, that's interesting. The two Ordinators were found near the victim at Halalu compound, and we think they coincidentally interrupted the killer at work. Both had the throat slit with a dagger. That neither, neither Ordinator had drawn a weapon is extremely unsettling. It suggests either extraordinary stealth or a very powerful sorcerer. That's all we know about the victims, and there's not much information from vi witnesses either. So, what is the information from witnesses then? There are no witnesses to any of the killings, but in Halalu compound, at about the same time as one of the killings, an outlander reported being threatened by a Dunmer woman armed with a dagger. It was dark, and the outlander transported magically to safety, so he couldn't give us a very clear description. But he was sure the Dunmer woman with a dagger was dressed in a skirt and natch leather armor. Can you tell me more about this Dunmer woman with a dagger? Yes, that's the only description we have. A Dunmer woman with a dagger. In a skirt and natch leather armor. Oh, that could be fitting in nearly to everyone. Do you have any more information about the work? As I said, I cannot officially hire for this task. But if you find and execute this killer, when you return to report your success to me, I promise you a handsome reward. Well, we shall find out what handsome means. While we're at it, can you tell me something about the Foreign Quarter? Well, the Foreign Quarter is the large three-tiered canton to the north. Originally, foreigners were not allowed to enter Vivek any further than the Foreign Quarter. But now outlanders can travel throughout Vivek at will. The Imperial Guilds each have guild halls and complete, complete services here, and an Imperial cult shrine serves the spiritual needs of the Imperial faithful. Various independent tradesmen, craftsmen, and trainers also rent space here. The Blackshaw Counter Club rents beds to non guild visitors. Well, thanks for this insight, and goodbye. So let's check the Lalu compound then. I thought we would never have to go there. Something's 
up with my eye. It's constantly watering and um, like sticking together. Nose is free though. Usually get this when my nose clogs up for too long. Okay, so this is temple. Now we're going to enter proper. Should be an entrance here if I'm not mistaken. Okay, well, so one thing they should change in OpenMW is that the rain is not here when you're. Oh, that's the wrong direction. That the rain is not here when you're um, when you're under this. That would be kind of awesome. Now let's see. This is the high fane, the actual temple, and we were supposed to go to Endrin Lolethan. I think we searched for them for a long time. The freshest ingredients in town. In one episode. So let's see if we find them faster this time. I'm listening. Go ahead. Shopping for the other side. There we go. What brings you to the temple, eh, man? Have you been laxing your duties? Okay, so sh he or she, I haven't seen the face, also wants me to be a curate. Let me real quick. Uh, in Vivek, I need to be a curate also. Thank you very much. So while we're at this, can you tell me something about a book called Fire and Faith? Oh, the Hall of Wisdom here in Vivek holds many rare books such as this. Aha. Uh -huh. So that said, um, let me real quick open up that one. Um, that was Random People, I think. Um, the three books, yes. So I already gave him that exact book. No, Fire and Faith, this is that one. There is a Darvel's bookshop in Vivek. So we can check the bookshop in Vivek or go uh, in Belmora, that is. Or just check here, but I guess if we go here, we are supposed to steal it. And I'm not going to steal from a um, fellow temple or from the temple itself. Well, can you tell me something about the Sanctus Shrine? You've already made your pilgrimage to there. And about leaving the Vivek City. Yeah, Tenusia Wheel of the Leaving Vivek City. So I guess this these are just like leftovers from old quests. I just grade them out by clicking them. I made the pilgrimage of the seven graces already. And we already now know about the compounds, actually, so I'm going to to just click away them. Uh, also this, I'm already a member of the temple, so... Okay, I'm not going to ask for advancement until I've been in Aldru. Go ahead. I am listening. So yeah, I'm, I'm done speaking, though. Thanks for the talk, though. Um, is this the exit? Yes. And there we go, we want to check out the Holalo compound. Let me quick check, yeah, I'm walking in the right direction. This is where the ferryman is. Or in this case, fairy woman. Let me travel to the Holalo compound. And let me... I can rest here. It seems like this does not count as part of the city. Interesting. Quit but I guess that's that just that. a technical thing. So, um, since we are here, have you seen a woman with a dagger? A Dunmer woman? A Dunmer woman. A skirt and match leather armor? Leather armor? Witch dagger? No. Uh, with a dagger? No. Haven't seen anyone like that. Should install a mob and just font a little bigger, I think. Because I'm playing this on a small laptop screen. Else I would constantly be like, looking over there. Or over there. So 
this is where the big streams are. Let's check the rest. Where is that slave? Well, hello, good sir. I'm looking for a person, a... Well, I wouldn't say a friend of mine. It's a woman, um, an Ashlander woman with a dagger. Oh, you haven't seen her? Well, can you tell me about the Silt Striders then? Well, silt striders carry passengers and cargo between settlements and Vardenfell. Fares depend on distance to be traveled. Silt striders are giant insects. The compartment for passengers and cargo is hollowed from the creature's shell. The driver direct the, directs the beast by directly manipulating its posed organs and tissues. Silt striders travel between Alrun, Pomora, Sidanin, Surin, Gnesis, Molagmar, Margan, and North Landing near Vivek. That's a bit disgusting. They directly operate, ex manipulate exposed organs. So I guess basically they cause them pain to tell them where to go. This is not very nice. But can you tell me something about something more interesting, like, uh, or less disgusting, like enchantments? Well, temple enchanters favor healing and protection spells. Red or an enchantress favor wounding missile loads and shield spells. Hohalo like weapon enchantments and various spell rings. Imperials use a wide array of weapon and ring damage enchantments, but the masters of enchantment are the Telvanni. They use all effects, and often several combined on one item, but they specifically like items that summon creatures or magical weapons and armor. Well, thank you very much. Can I sell something? Oh, yes, some, some interesting books. But I should hold off of the buying stuff until we actually have a place to put them. But I could freeze some inventory by using one of my armorous hammers. Using them up specifically, that's the idea. And they're gone. Perfect. Because this trains our skill and it lightens our load. See? We trained our skill and the repair prompts. I mean honestly the money savings isn't that interesting. It's so many things. Uh, ah, we still got some weapons to sell. See, does he buy the weapons? No, okay. He doesn't even have Oh, okay. Yeah, let's, let's ask. Go on about your business. Yeah. No, he doesn't even know, but he is. The background is blue. Okay, so what can you tell me about your background? I'm an ordinator. I guess this would be better if <laughs> he liked me more, but. Well, let's see. I don't want to do, do too much lore at the same time. I think this will be. This, this might be boring at some point. Uh, ma'am, ma'am, I guess this, will you? this is a guy. Damn, I'm, I'm so bad at discerning the gender of people from the back in this game. The latest rumor. Tram Barrow is a very secretive man. Only his closest friends know where he lives. Also hasn't seen the woman with the dagger. Hmm. Let me check on journal again. Yeah, it was in Palo compound. Nope, I am there now. It sure is what where I wanted to go. Do you have yeah. for me, citizen? Hmm. Hurry this up, will you? Let's see, so there is the house of someone, the treasury. It should be the treasury. Quit play out, Blender. I have much time. The dagger. Oh, no weakness. Move along. 
Let's see. So this is the house of someone. Speak quickly, Outlander, or go away. Oh, she knows something about the Zainab camp. The Zainab camp is southwest of Voss in the Graceland region. I will mark it on your map since it's easy to get lost in the Gracelands. Thank you very much. And this, of course, does not know anything about the woman with the dagger. Citizen. So downstairs we go. This is just been here, but I haven't checked if there's yeah, if there was any doors, you know. I'm looking for someone in someone in particular, yep. Yeah. So Baron Allen is the head treasurer. Adrino Arathi is in the waste works. So who's this guy? Uh this woman, okay. Uh, Temple priests, clerks, and ordinators, uh, some fighters live and train at the arena. This is like general. Speak quickly, outlander. Your prices are reasonable. Your prices are reasonable, but you don't buy anything that I need to sell. Hmm. What is this about? That's not very hard. Hurry this up, Okay. Let's head back up and go to the plaza and see if we can find someone there. This should be out here and then in uh, the door to the left. We have seen a woman with a dagger. No. Have you seen a woman with a dagger? No. I mean, I know to. I know that I. Should go to the battle commands. Note letter from Gadane. Dearest Araldo, long have I watched you from afar, bathing in the light that is your beauty. Long have I wished for the courage to speak to you of my undying love for you. Your eyes are really, really brown in, uh, in that good wood elf kind of way, and your hair, your hair is really black and looks good on your head. You walk with grace and beauty, and perhaps someday you walk with me too. Please, tell me you share my love. I have seen you in my store, browsing for minutes on end. My love for you is so great, I would give you a discount on most all of my items on sale. I look forward to your response. Yours, Gadane. What's her name again? Bill. Okay. Have you seen? Uh, hello. Have you by chance seen a woman with a dagger? See something you like. Excuse me. Have you? I'm waiting. How do you do? Ma'am. We don't all don't know anything about that. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you have uh, seen a woman with a dagger? You say you found a love letter of mine. Oh dear, that's embarrassing. What about it? You found that. Oh dear, I really meant to throw that away. It's all true though. I've loved her since the moment I first set eyes on her. I just haven't had the courage to speak to her yet. Uh, perhaps you'd speak to her for me? Lead my case? I'd be very grateful. Yeah, I can do that. You will? Wonderful. If you'll just tell her how I feel, tell her how happy I'd make her, I'm sure she'd be interested. You'd probably find her in the Wasteworks. That's where I've watched her, uh, seen her at times. 